seasons of full moon, when shivering nights huddled beneath foggy opacity of the mist's quilt echo with shrill lupine calls and opal moon casts silver parishions on snow dunes painting eucalyptuses in sighs of argent memories as wizened fingers try to ease warmth into frozen limbs snowflakes whisper psalms to a taste Storm clouds grumbling at chilly touch of boreas, caressing powdered arms of trees in prayers that will bud into chartreuse blessings in springtime. A glutton moon yearns to taste honeyed sunshine beyond the threshold of Uten warming arthritic limbs. Thawing snow, prophecies blooming artless daffodils like scented giggles of a cherub. Calling crows foretell, drawing end of inglenook eventides and mornings perfumed and warmth warmth of eggnog lattes, a mixed feeling moon peers down to smell blossoming beginnings of spring, blushing as nubile maiden, like a tint of serai's dawn on night, the moon reflects hues of nascent spring blooms, her moss pink and wild flux, fishes throng upstream rivers, and it is emblazoned on night sky as epilogue of dying winter, kisses of frost glow as sun dust freckles on windows, left by setting pink moon on clarity of spring morns. Earth abounds in fragrant flowers, overflowing spring's basket, cows in pastures over brim cauldrons of milkmen. Moon is a luscious bowl of cream, slowly lapped away by celestial feline and dark nights. Named after the hair, it is symbolic of prolific May, the month of fragrance when butterflies and brocades feast on nectarine mocktails. Strawberries ripen in pouring tequila sunshine as aspirations on stalks of existence. Roses bloom in rapture as redlands susurrus of summer, the moon breathes deep to inhale a scented blend of sweet strawberries, reminiscent of charms and pies and the romance of roses seen in love-lorn eyes, scented in lovers, stolen Kisses, bipolar moods of weather, sweat brine from heat worn brows, wreathing frowns and azure of burrowed grey clouds, trumpeting the advent of tempest. The sheepish moon is drenched in rain as it tries to use clouds as parasols, while Rain songs are strewn on puddles, changing them into rain chimes. Sturgeons crowd riverbeds as a reddish moon yearns for a taste of 
aromatic fish curry brewed in a kitchen of delicious dreams. The corn is juvenile, yet not ready for harvest, so lunar appetite must be appeased by meals of seasoned sturgeons. Ripened mangoes lure the caves of fire moon as it salt sunburns of earth, blistered by sweltering sunshine. Ripened crops are harvested in bright sheen of pouring moonlight exuberance as autumnal equinox draws near. Covering dust trails and burnished desires, mottled in russet and tangerine, tenued in trees of their humility and soft rustling verdure, while a moody moon perches on skeletal boughs, watching splattered watercolors of fall. Hunters track their prey in honeydew amber radiance of a moon. A lid closes to earth's bosom, leaves pepper soil and cinnamon sighs. Watching spilled blood and withering foliage, the moon watches autumn mature, its nostrils filled in piquant poopoo sighs and taste of apple cider lingering on its silver tongue. Frost covers the wrinkles of silver moon, yearning on chilly nights for pins of whiskey warmth and steaming cups of cappuccinos. Painting fraught moustaches and upper lips, it rubs benumbed fingers together as beaver traps are set to attain warm fur for impending snow, armchairs are laved in honeyed glow of cackling hearth flames, while a shy moon scatters poetic epistles in November chill, scribing silent nights in sonnets. Nights are stretched longer as an aging sun sleeps more leaving the moon to cuddle within cloudy blankets and snow-kissed chill of night. Wispy snowflakes are kisses of moonlight floating in the cold, while a frost-bitten moon waits impatiently for virgin kiss of mellowed sun rays, and for hot broth to clear its clogged throat at a much-awaited breakfast. Thank you.